Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going down Route 25 and battling all the trainers. Now, when you first come off Route 24 into Route 25, you'll actually find an item up here, which is a uh, TM45 Attract. Attract can be useful sometimes. It puts a Pokemon in love with another, or with the opposite gender, and then it's kind of like a paralyzed, but it doesn't half your speed. I'm gonna fight this first trainer over here. This is a Picnicker. Now this Picnicker has three Pokemon on his team. He has a Rattata, an Ekans, and I think a um... I still forget the last Pokemon. Oh no, it looks like he only has two. Okay, so he has a Rattata and Ekans. I'm just gonna go for Peck right here. And no, I didn't heal up my Pokemon from the last episode. Uh, I'm just gonna continue on because I thought there was really no point. Robin should be able to sweep through these Pokemon quite nicely without even healing up or anything. Um, we are going to get intimidated though by the seconds. You have to watch out for that. Intimidate Ekans is a thing in pretty much like most of the routes. So at the start of the game at least. So he's going to use a Leer now, lower defense. That's fine with us. Um, I'm just going to go for a pet and uh, take out this Ekans. Now. Usually on Road 25, the uh, trainers are a little bit harder than they were on Road 24, so you do have to look out for that, but you should be high enough level right after Road 24. You shouldn't have to worry about um, being under level or anything. But I'm going to come over here now and battle this Hiker. Now this Hiker has two Pokemon on his team. He has a level 15 Machoke, uh, or Machamp, Chop, and a level 15 Geodude. Um, if you have a flying type, you should be able to go through this Machop pretty easily. I think I might actually switch out into my uh, Ivysaur for this Geodude battle right here, because I don't know if Robin will be able to take him out in one shot. You know what? I'm going to try, because we actually have a few more hikers on this route here, and I'd actually like to know if Peck will be able to do any damage to them. Okay, so it doesn't do that much. They are a rock type, so it's not like I didn't expect that, so I'm going to switch into my Light Bulb right here and take him out with one Vine Whip. Um, if you guys are on Road 25 and you want to catch some Pokemon, there are pretty decent Pokemon you can catch on this route. Um, mostly just the usuals that you'd find at the start of the game, Rattatas, Caterpies and stuff, but there's a special Pokemon you can actually catch on these two uh, routes, Road 24 and 25. You can catch an Abra, which is a super, super good Psychic type at the start of the game. He evolves into Alakazam from Kadabra. And uh, I do recommend picking one up if you want a strong special attacker on your team. So we're going to continue on here and uh, battle this youngster. Youngster Joey, actually. Um, I don't know if you guys understand the Youngster Joey thing, but there's a little joke running around on the internet of Youngster Joey and his Rattata because in Heart Gold Soul Silver and uh, Gold and Silver, he was super obsessed with this Rattata, saying it was the strongest one in the world. But we're going to prove to him that his Rattata sucks, and we're going to take him on one shot right here. Easy kill for a Robin. I think I actually might switch into my Ivysaur and might use Ivysaur for the rest of the route after this. Just because uh, Robin we've been using for the last two episodes and I think he's a high enough level at this point. Mostly, yeah, he's going to be level 23 now which is nice. Our Pokemon are leveling up quite nicely. You should have your Pokemon at around level 20 in this uh, part of the game. You don't want to be over level and you definitely don't want to be under level. So I'm going to switch over to my light bulb now, maybe get him up to level 26 and then We'll go on from there. So, our next opponent is going to be Hiker Wayne. He's going to have a level 17 Onyx. Uh, this Onyx shouldn't be too hard. It'll only be hard to deal with if you don't have super effective moves against it, like a Grass type or a Water type. If you don't have a Grass type on your team, you can definitely pick up a Bell Sprout in this route. Which Bell Sprout evolves into V. No, not Venusaur. Into uh, yo, its final evolution is called actually. It's Bell Sprout. Then uh. No, I actually forget, but it's a super good grass type, that's for sure. Um, it does evolve into a strong one, and it's probably the second best grass type in my opinion in Leaf Green. Uh, Victory Bell, there we go. I remember the name. Victory Bell it evolves into. I gotta brush up on my Pokemon uh, trivia here, but we're gonna fight this youngster Dan, nevertheless, and he's gonna bring out a level, se a level 17 Slowpoke. Now, Slowpoke. Easy uh, easy kill for my Ivysaur right here. We do have Vine Whip, so we shouldn't have too much trouble here. If you guys like Slowpoke, he evolves into uh, Slowbro and Slowking. Now, I don't know if you can get Slowking without the National Dex, but you can get a Slowbro. And Slowbro is a pretty bulky and a good uh, special attacker, so if you want to pick up a good Water and Psychic Pokemon, 
Slowpoke is definitely the route to go with that. Now, we're gonna take out Youngster Dan right here. Uh, we can't exactly get that item just yet, so we're gonna battle this Picnicker. Now, this Picnicker has two Pokemon on her team. She has a Nidoran female and male. Um, I really, really want to actually pick one of these up on my team. Um, it's probably one, gonna be one of my next Pokemon, maybe. It really depends, though, on when we're actually able to pick one up. But, it looks like my Ivysaur might have some trouble with these Pokemon. I don't know if Vine Wolf will really do that much, so I'm gonna switch to my Robin right here, just for this one battle. I know I said I wasn't gonna use them as much anymore, but... Since Ivysaur can't really do anything to these Pokemon, we might as well just go ahead and switch into Robin here. Um, so she's gonna bring out her female one now. There's no real difference between these two Pokemon. Uh, I'm pretty sure one just has a better special attack or attack than the other, but that's really it. Personally, I prefer it around the male. Uh, I don't know if that's because I'm a male myself or something, but I've always just liked the look of it better. I've always liked this, I don't know, in competitive, it just seemed better to me. Now, oh, we got poisoned by Poison Point. Unlucky. Uh, I don't even know if I have any antidotes. If I don't, I might have to cut here and go heal all my Pokemon, because having the poison animation every time I walk might get a little bit annoying. So I'm going to go heal on my Pokemon, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I am back. I healed up my Pokemon, and we are going to fight this Hiker next. This Hiker actually has a few ground types on his team. He has three Geodudes, which are all level 17. Or not 17, 13. And then he has a Machop, which is level 13. So if you have a Grass or Water type, go ahead and put them out in front for this battle right here. And you shouldn't have too much trouble. So I'm going to go for a few Vine Works. It's a special move, so it should be able to take these Geodudes out in one shot. And we even got a critical hit right there, which was quite nice. I don't think it really mattered, but still. It's nice to get critical hits here and there knowing that the game is on your side with RNG. So, this Geodude's gonna come out now, we're just gonna go for another Vine Whip. Sweep through these Geodudes pretty easily. Um, I don't know if he's gonna bring out his Machop next, he actually might. No, he's gonna bring out his final Geodude, so I'm just gonna stay in here and go for a Vine Whip. I think I might stay in with my Ivysaur against the Geodude anyways, just because we're strong enough to take it out in one shot. I, I'm pretty confident in my light bulb. Light bulb's actually almost up to level 26 now, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, we might have to switch back out into our Robin soon, just because light bulb's leveling up faster than him. I actually think because we used our—I don't even remember if we used light bulb last episode, but we used our Robin quite a lot, and he only went up like two levels or so. So we're gonna defeat the Psyker right here, and that's like one of the almost one of the last uh, Pokemon or trainers you'll fight on this whole route. There's only two left, so it's not that hard of a route. If you have strong Pokemon, you shouldn't have too much trouble. So we're gonna fight this Rattata right here. We're gonna take it out. It's not the strongest Rattata like Joey, so uh, it shouldn't be any different. We should just one-shot it. There we go. Gonna take it out with Vine Whip, and Atkins is gonna come out. I'm actually gonna switch into my Robin right here because Vine Whip won't really do anything to this Atkins here, so Robin should be able to do something to it. We are going to get intimidated though, of course. Atkins always running that, and I'm going to go for a peck right here. I see him actually dying in two shots. I was almost, like, I almost thought it was going to die in three shots right there. I didn't know how much peck was actually going to do. I just, like, guessed, but it looks like we were right. We did get poisoned by Poison Sting though, which kind of sucks. We just healed up a Pokemon, like, come on. And I don't even have an ad though. We'll have to deal with the annoying poison little shiver thing though, so doesn't really matter. If you guys want to know what it looks like, that's what it looks like. If you guys were wondering why I had to heal out my Pokemon right after I got poisoned. Also, my Robin was going to die too, so... I also didn't want my Robin to die, but Robin's high enough health not to die from poison at this point, so we don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to battle Youngster Shad right here, or Chad, and he's going to bring out an Ekans again. Are we going to get intimidated? Of course. Ekans with the Intimidate though, um, I'm gonna stay in just because I don't want my Robin to take any more unnecessary damage and Vine Whip actually is doing a pretty decent amount. I also don't want to get Poison, uh, so if we bring out our Poison type we shouldn't get Poison by Poison Sting whatsoever. But we're just gonna keep Vine Whipping here, he's gonna go for another Poison Sting, that's fine. Again, we won't get Poisoned. If you guys are having like a lot of trouble with Poison Sting and stuff and getting Poison randomly, just like get a Poison type yourself. Bring it out against poison types and just fight it because uh, poison types can't get poisoned at all uh, by nothing, not even toxic or something like that. 
So that's a pretty good feature that they add into the game. It's quite nice if you uh, are getting a little bit annoyed by the poison. But we're going to go up to level 26 here, and it actually looks like it's time to switch back into Robin now. Just because our light bulb is, uh, I think, like, three, three-ish levels higher than my Robin now, so it's a good time. So we're going to fight this final trainer on this whole route. Um, she's going to be a last, and she's actually running three Pokemon on her team. Nothing different, really, from any other trainers on this route. They're pretty easy to go through. She has two Oddishes and a... Uh, Pidgeot all level 13, so we're just gonna stay in here and peck with our Robin. Maybe get up a level, I don't really know though. We'll probably only get 100 XP, 200 actually, but yeah, it doesn't look like we're, we're going to go up another level, which kind of sucks, but hey, we're, we're pretty high enough level at this point in the game anyways. So I'm just gonna go for another peck here. Pidgey's gonna go down, hopefully. Yes, exactly. This is why I also like Pharaoh over Pidgeot or someone. Uh, I'm pretty sure Pidgeot learns Gust, but it just, I don't know, uh, Pharaoh's attack is like 10 times better than Pidgeot's, well, not 10 times, but it, it's a little bit higher, and its speed is also a little bit better, so, that's what I like about this thing, it hits hard, it's fast, and it doesn't really have that much trouble with most of the Pokemon at the start of the game. Well, we took down that last right there, and now we're going to go into Bill's house. Now, Bill is the person who created the PC, and he's actually right here, guys. He's a Clefairy. I know, right? So weird, right? But Bill actually was creating a machine, which uh, I don't exactly understand it. It was something he was experimenting with PCs and stuff, but he turned himself into a Pokemon when trying to uh, transport something. So... We're gonna turn him back into a human here so he doesn't stay as a Clefairy forever, which I don't know how you mess up an experiment on yourself that much that you turn to a different species, a Pokemon from a, or a human from a Pokemon, like, Bill, come on, man. But he looks a little more normal now, I guess, for a human being. I don't think humans are supposed to be Clefairies, and he's gonna give us the SS ticket. Now, this is gonna be a useful item later on in uh, Vermilion City. We'll actually go on the SSN. Uh, and we actually have to go on there to continue on throughout the game. Now, I'm going to end off the episode here, guys. If you did enjoy, go ahead and tell me what you liked in the comment section down below. And also give me some criticism. I'd really appreciate it. In the next episode, we'll be going to Vermilion City. And then we'll go on from there. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.